for the project I'm doing with the die cuts with a view adhesive fabric paper. I thought it would be fun to make a video. I thought it would be easier to show you exactly what I'm doing. So I've got this. It's 12 sheets of fabric paper and mine's cut up a bit because I have used it for a couple of things. But I'm going to use this on a fabric project. Because it's adhesive backed, it'd be really easy to use for a simple sewing project as well as using it for paper crafting. So what I have done, I was going, I was thinking about making a decorative pillow or something like that. It would be really easy to cut out shapes or die cut shapes and then attach them and stitch them to anything like that. I mean, a pillowcase, I could do a wall hanging, I could do a little quilt, I could do all kinds of stuff. I found this cute little pink t-shirt in my fabric bin that's been waiting to be decorated for my one of my girls and I thought you know what this is the perfect color we will do this so I cut out a couple of hearts and it's adhesive back so it's not going to permanently stick it's not strong enough to withstand like the washing machine or anything like that but it should be just fine for tacking it down so that I can stitch okay and I am going to stitch my hearts I'm going to layer my hearts here and I am going to stitch them one, I'm going to put one down, stitch it, and then I'll put the next one down and stitch it. I just think that would be easier. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this down. So I have my first two flowers down. Now, what's probably going to happen is that the edges are probably going to fray and lift off here because of the way I've done my stitching. If you don't want this, you could do a zigzag or some other stitch at the very edge if you really want to seal off the edges. I don't. I kind of want it to get kind of a aged look. And I'm picking this flower, for, excuse me, this heart for last because of the way the roses are. And I love, you know, if I stick it down here, I can still peel it off. So I really like that it's making this kind of a project, which normally is a little bit intimidating, really, really easy. And then I can just press that down there and stitch my last flower. And if I want, and I think I will, I can just repeat stitching another flower up here. And because this fabric is so thin and the t-shirt is a pretty thin material too, I'm not having to adjust my tension settings or do anything special with my machine. I am just stitching and having a ball. I want a little accent up here at the top left, so I just stitched a square of the darker pink fabric, and now I've got another heart in similar pattern that I used down here. Now, I did use a zigzag stitch on this heart just to mix it up, just for fun. I'm still debating if I want to die cut a flower and put it in here or something, but you know what? I really don't think so. I really think I like it just as it is, just simple and quick. So I will stitch this heart around this heart and my shirt will be done. You know, start to finish, this project only took maybe the sewing and everything and cutting everything out, maybe 20 minutes. And I can think of so many applications for this. You could decorate towels. If you're going to a bridal shower, you could put tr the fabric on like a onesie or something. And you know what? It's just a lot of fun to use this fabric paper well like fabric. And you know that adhesive backing makes all the difference in the world. Normally it takes me so long to iron on some kind of temporary adhesive backing so that I can get it in place and it stays and then I stitch. So this was a lot of fun and it reminds me to get out my sewing machine for sewing fabric versus paper more often. I hope you enjoyed it. You can see more on my blog.